Hello guys, welcome back to the FE exam review series where we solve FE problems that you guys need to know to pass your FE exam. In today's video, we'll be covering an electricity section problem, specifically under part B, DC circuit analysis. So let's dive in. Oh yeah, okay guys, so we are giving a circuit and we want to determine the current that is flowing in this circuit. So the first thing I recommend that you guys do is draw uh, the current here going clockwise, okay? And then the next step is to apply Ohm's law and then Kirchhoff's voltage law, okay? So that's the same thing as KVL. And the Ohm's law equation and KVL's equation are provided to you guys on the reference handbook. So what I recommend that you guys do as always, go ahead and pause this video and then Go to the reference handbook and take a look at those equations and try to attempt this problem on your own. Now, this is a simple circuit. And the reason I chose this problem is because we've never really posted a problem uh, on electricity before in our channel. So I wanted to cover the basics with you guys first before we do a more advanced problems. Now, if you guys are interested in more FE problems, go ahead and comment below FE mechanical and I will make more videos on this, okay? So go ahead and pause this video Give it a try and I will see you guys in a little bit. So as we mentioned before, so the first thing we're going to do here is apply Ohm's law and KVL. So those two equations are going to help us determine the current. OK, so now let's go to the reference handbook and take a look at those equations. Now, under electrical and computer engineering, here we are giving the equation for Ohm's law, which is voltage is equal to the current times resistance. And if we scroll down a little bit here, we are giving the KVL equation, okay, which says that the sum of all voltage gains must equal to the sum of all voltage drops for a closed path or for a closed circuit, okay? Now, this here is the same thing as saying that the sum of all voltages around any closed loop in a circuit must be equal to zero, okay? And that's what actually I'm going to use for this problem. I do prefer the second definition that I just shared with you guys, and then uh, I'm, I'm going to show it to you guys as well once we go back to our lecture notes just so that you guys can grasp it. But it is easier to use um, this second definition and you guys will see how we're going to apply that in a second when we start solving the problem. Now, let's first apply Ohm's law. So as we mentioned, Ohm's law is just voltage is equal to the current times the resistor. OK, so that means for voltage one is just going to be equal to six times I. Right. Because the resistor here is six and then times the current. And then V2 is going to be 10 because here we have resistor of 10 so we're going to have 10 and then multiply by i now notice guys here that even though we have two equations here we still cannot determine i because we don't have v1 we don't have v2 we have two mini angles so that's why we have to use kvl okay now as i mentioned before kvl states that the sum of all the voltages around any closed loop in a circuit must be equal to zero okay and that's that's what this equation basically is, okay? So let's go ahead and apply this equation so that you guys can see how we use it, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start at the voltage source, okay? Now, something to keep in mind here, actually two things to keep in mind is that uh, in this equation, when we apply it, it has to be just voltages, okay? Because it's literally here, the sum of all voltages in this circuit. OK, so that's one. The second thing is that when we're going from negative to positive, that's going to be a negative voltage. And when we're going from positive to negative, that's going to be positive voltage. OK, so here, if we start at the voltage source, because we're going from negative to positive, we're going to have minus 24. OK, minus 24 voltage. Now, next we have V1. So notes, guys, V1 is going from positive to negative. So we're going to have plus V1. And in V2, same thing, we have positive to negative. So it's going to be plus V2. OK, and this here must add up to zero. Now, one thing I would like to mention, guys, here is that if we did use the equation that was given to us on the reference handbook, where we have the summation of the voltage rises equals to the summation of the voltage drops, we will actually get the same answer okay so just something to keep in mind there now to finish up this problem it's actually pretty easy so all we need to do here is just take these two equations and plug it in into this equation here okay so 
the important steps is this. So the first thing you got to do is apply Ohm's law and then next apply KVL. Sometimes we also have to apply KCL, okay, which is Kirchhoff's current law, okay? So what I would recommend that you guys do is uh, write these steps on your cheat sheet, okay? Because this these steps are really going to help you guys to solve any type of circuit, really, okay? So if you are giving a circuit, always try to apply Ohm's law first. So take a look at the voltages that's giving to you guys and then write them in terms of the resistors and current. And then after that, see which law you need to apply, either KVL or KCL. Sometimes you have to apply both, okay? And then from there, you can solve for the current or the voltage, okay? So whenever you guys are studying and solving these problems, if there's any steps to solving a problem or an important equation make sure that you guys add it to your cheat sheets okay and then also we do have a cheat sheet that covers a lot of important concepts and equations make sure that you guys download it here and if for whatever reason you don't get it um, just make sure that you guys email us and we'll send it to you and also if you guys are enjoying this video please don't forget to like and subscribe it helps the channel out immensely now let's go ahead guys and plug in these equations into this equation here okay so and the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to move this 24 here to the other side of the equation okay so it's going to become positive okay because it's negative here so let's plug in v1 so we're going to have 6i plus v2 which equals to 10i okay and this is going to be equal to 24 okay so now we're going to have 16i is equal to 24 so i is going to be equal to 24 over 16, and this is going to give us 1.5. And this is going to be in amps, okay? So now if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be a, okay? Now, the other thing I would like to cover here is, let's say we want to determine voltage 1 or voltage 2, okay? So easy, right? Because we already determined the current, now all we need to do is just plug in the current in this equation and solve for voltage 1, or plug it into this equation to solve for voltage 2, okay? So on the FE exam, you might be giving this problem, and instead of asking you to find the current, you might be asked to find the voltage. So you would have to first find the current, and then you can plug it in back into this equation to solve for the voltage. Now, if you guys like this problem, make sure to check out our courses where we cover a lot of FE problems and concepts that's going to help you guys pass your FE exam. So we just launched the FE mechanical course and it is on sale right now. So make sure that you guys get it before the sale ends. And if you are interested in FE other disciplines course, we are going to actually launch that soon. So make sure that you guys sign up here for any future updates. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and before you go, make sure to check out this playlist here where we cover a lot of FE problems that's going to help you guys with your FE preparation. And also, if you are looking for good study resources, make sure to check out our courses at jennyprep.com. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you guys on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh yeah,